In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. And we're going to complete, as Abuna said, the, our journey with uh, life and journeys uh, and the epistles of St. Paul. Uh, do we all had uh, have this uh, this paper, this handout? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. From last time. Hmm? Who didn't have it? Please. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have finished so far uh, four epistles. As we said, we're gonna focus more than the journeys. We're gonna focus on. The epistles, the epistles themselves, and we said that during the first journey, Paul has written how many epistles? How many epistles has been written by Saint Paul in the first journey? Hmm? Hmm? None. Very good. You're having none. None. No, no epistles has been written during the first. Journey. During the second journey, how many epistles has been written? Two. Berna. I'm very, very glad that you are here this time. <laughs> and which which epistles were written by Saint Paul during the second journey? Hmm. Uh, first Thessalonians and the second Thessalonians. The main theme of the of the two epistles was hmm? the second coming of Jesus Christ. We should be fair. <laughs> so uh, the, the the main issue or the main theme of the uh, of the two epistle of to the Thessalonians was the second coming of Jesus Christ. And then on the third uh, journey, how many epistles has been written? <laughs> you look on the paper, okay. Hmm. You will see. Four, that's right. Four are written. Which one? You said four? <laughs> how many? Huh? Four, okay. <laughs> you are lucky. Uh, four has been written on the uh, the third uh, journey. First and second Corinthians. These are the two epistles we have discussed last time, and we said that the the the, the epistle to the Cor Corinthians were about different issues, problems within the church, division, fornication, uh, going to the uh, civil courts, uh, questions has been raised and uh, has been sent to St. Paul about marriage and celibacy, about things offered to the idols, about uh, the Eucharist, about the, the spiritual gifts and the resurrection. Second one, it was the, the mainly uh, St. Paul was defending his apostleship. Now we are going to go through two important epistles, the two others, Galatians and Romans. And actually I, fo I will focus on Romans because Romans is called the cathedral of the Christian faith. It's the, the comprehensive epistle which uh, introduce the Christian faith. Why, why the, the Romans was the cathedral of the Christian faith? Actually, Galatians and Romans were dealing with a big problem that affected, and uh, St. Paul was really, uh, uh, يعني, he was uh, very concerned. He was very concerned about this problem. It was the problem of what is called the Judaizers or Judaism. What is Juda who are the Judaizers and what is Judaism? The, the, the church started within the Jewish community. 
So many of the Jews has converted to Christianity. But the problem was they were saying no one can be Christian without being a, a Jew first. So and he should be go through all the, the rituals of the of the Jewish faith like circumcision, uh, doing all the, 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 the rules of the law, all of that they should follow. That's why St. Paul here, here refused that and said, no, we, we, not, not every one is going to believe in, Christ, in Jesus Christ should be Jews first. And actually, he, he didn't say that by his own. There was a council, as we said, on the, on the, during the, after the first journey, there was a council in Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem the, the, the first council was about this issue. But it was raising, it was a problem that is growing. That's why St. Paul has written the, the Galatians epistle and then he, he wrote the Romans to settle this issue, to, to, to give the, the final uh, answer concerning this problem. So we're going to go through first through Galatians quickly and then we, as I said we're going to emph emphasize or focus on the, the Romans. Galatians written at the end of 53 AD, written from Corinth during his service there for three months at the end of the third missionary trip or journey. While St. Paul was serving in Corinth, news re reached him about Judaizers in Galatia and he wrote the epistle confronting them. Judaizers are the Christians from Jewish background trying to enforce gen Gentiles to adopt the Jewish faith as the gate to Christianity. St. Paul totally refused such concept. I I'm just reading quickly, so if, if someone wants to stop me, you can stop and ask. Okay? Okay? Also, this epistle came to, def to define, to defend St. Paul apostleship as some Christians from Jewish background were doubting it, though St. Paul was the one who preached Christianity in Galatia. So the, the, the epistle of Galatians is defending the apostleship of St. Paul like the second Corinthians. Very good. Like the second Corinthians. So Galatians and second Corinthians have, have in common the issue of the, the defense of the apostleship of St. Paul. Uh, Galatians and Romans have in common the issue of confronting the, the Judaizers and, or the Judaism sort. Also, this epistle came to defend St. Paul apostleship as some Christians from Jewish background were doubting it, though St. Paul was the one who preached Christianity in Galatia. As in the second epistle to the Corinthians, the epistle addresses St. Paul apostleship, also having the same theological concept as the epistle to the Romans, but the later is broader. He has, he has uh, discussed the issue of Judaism in a, in a broader way, in a more comprehensive way. I'll, I'll, I'll read the, the, what is written under the Romans, and then we'll go through the Romans uh, a bit uh, in a more detailed way. Abuna, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Where is Galicia? Where is Galicia? Can we? Uh, okay. Should we bring it from the, we, from the we map? Know, we know Rome. Galicia. Rome. Ah, okay. We, we Galicia is one of the places on the, the uh, uh, minor Asia, Turkey. Okay. As, as we said, this was the place, the main, the main area St. Paul was going on, even though on the second journey has, has moved to Europe. Okay? Uh, should we bring a map? Or? Okay. It is in the middle of, of ah, Asia on, Minor. On, on Asia Minor, which is Turkey now. Romans, written at the beginning of 58 AD. Actually, Galatians is not written in 53. This is wrong. It's 58. Please correct it on the, on the paper. Galatians is written in 50, 
58 AD. It's the second journey. Yeah. 58 AD, I'm sorry. It's under, under Galatians. Please correct. Uh, Gal because Corinthians is 57, and we are, we, are, we are moving chronologically. So this is 58. Written at the beginning of 58 AD, also written from Corinth during his service there for three months at the end of the third missionary trip. I'll let you I'll let you know something because maybe you can you may read in any in some references that the Galatians uh, epistle was written firstly. The first some references are saying that the the, the epistle of Galatians is written uh, as the first epistle, but actually. I, I, this is doubtable, and I believe it's, it's on that time. Why? Because it, it looks, it seems like the, the, the problem of the Judaizers was the main issue during that time, and St. Paul was so concerned by it, he, he, he answered this problem in, in Galatians, and then he uh, answered it in a more, as, a, as we said, in a broader way, or a more com comprehensive way in Romans. So the, 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 it, it's, it's more believed that it is written in, on that time, not the first epistle. Uh, also written from Corinth during his service there for three months at the end of the third missionary trip, which means the same time as the Galatian was written. It's after it in a more com comprehensive way. Till the time of writing of the epistle, St. Paul did not visit Rome yet, though he had the desire to visit and preach in Rome. So he is addressing the, 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 the epistle to Rome or to the Romans while he didn't visit, visit the Rome. He didn't visit Rome. He, he, he wanted that. And that's why when, when he was uh, captured in, in, uh, in Palestine, he asked to, to go and to be judged and to, to be uh, judged in front of, of the Caesar because he wants to go to, Ro to Rome because if he reached Rome, he is reaching the whole world because Rome is the capital of the whole uh, old world. Though he had the desire to visit and preach in Rome, he knew several people there. He didn't visit Rome. He didn't preach in Rome, but he knows he knows many, or he knew many of the uh, Romans. That's why the last chapter, the chapter 16 in the the Romans epistle, is uh, is all there is maybe 26 names he knows personally, and he is uh, uh, sending regards to them personally. So the epistle is. Uh, uh, he, he knew several people there, and this epistle was an introductory step for his visit to Rome. This epistle is the most powerful explanation for the Christian faith and the free salvation for all, whether Jews or Gentiles. This is the main topic. This is the main theme. That for, in Jesus Christ, there is no Jews and Gentiles, but the, the salvation is for all through faith and through the, the sacraments of the church and through baptism, as we are going to see. Also, the epistle assures that, that man is only acquitted by the faith in Christ and not by the literal work of the law and Judaism. Uh, now we are going to discuss in, in more details the, the epistle of the Romans. The key introduction of, of this epistle is... Uh, on the f the third chapter, he is he, he these two verses, verse number sixteen and seventeen of the first chapter, is like an introduction, including the key. The, they are the, the the scholars are considering these these two verses as the key verses, one of the two key verses of of the whole uh, the whole uh, epistle. So I want someone to read. Who can read? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. 
For in the righteousness of God is revealed from the faith to faith, as it is written, they just shall live by faith, Romans 1, 16. So we can see here, he is saying, I'm not ashamed for the gospel of Christ. The gospel is not a book. Hmm? We should differentiate between the gospel and the Bible. The Bible is the book. The gospel is the good news that, that Jesus has come to us and the, God the Father has sent his son for our salvation. Okay? So here he's talking about the gospel. The gospel is the good news that we are saved and, or Jesus Christ is coming for our salvation. For it's the power of God to salvation for everyone. The everyone is a key word here. Because it's not for Jews or Gentiles. It's for everybody. Jesus, even though the Jews was a community, but Jesus when he came, even, he, even, even if he came from the, the Jewish people and he lived within the Jewish people, but he didn't come for the Jewish people only. He, come, he, he came for all the world, the whole world, for every person, everywhere. And this is our, our job to, to preach for, for everybody. I mean, here we are, we, we are seeing many people from different cultures. We should be preaching by, by words, by behavior. Every, every way we can, we can preach, we should do that. For the Jews first and also for the Greek. Why he said for the Jews first? Because he, he trying, he's trying to say, I'm not against Jews, but I'm with the, 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 the case that Jesus Christ is not for Jews only, but he is for, for everyone. That's right. For everyone. Uh, for in the righteousness of God is revealed from face to face. What is meant by the the in the gospel for in in it in it 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 it, it, uh, it mentions the gospel for in the in the gospel the righteousness of god is revealed from faith to faith we're going to discuss what is meant by righteousness later but is revealed from faith to faith what is meant by from faith to faith from faith to faith means by the faith we are saved in order to live in faith. So we are saved by faith in order to live by the faith or through the faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Okay? A question. Actually, we're going to, uh, uh, all the, 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 the epistle, we're going to discuss it through questions. Guilty or not guilty? We are now on the jury. Huh? The jury are going to say the verdict. Chapter 1. Am I sinful? Am I sinful? Hmm? Guilty? Are we guilty or not? Huh? Guilty? Who is guilty? Who is not? Is anyone here not guilty? So we are all, we are all sinful. Okay. So the verdict is guilty. Hmm? We are all guilty. He, this is what St. Paul is saying. He started in the first chapter talking about this, talking to Gentiles. He was saying, you are under the wrath of God. You, you're, you're, uh, you are going to die and you have no hope. Hmm? And then he talked to the Jews and said the same thing. You are under the wrath, the wrath of God. You are, not, you are disobeying the, the law and you are, uh, you are, you, you are going to die. There is no hope. And then on the chapter uh, 3, uh, he, on uh, verse number 12, he, he, is, he put the conclusion, a very uh, tough conclusion. They have all turned aside. They have together become unprofitable. There is none who does good. No, not one. No, not one. As we said, everyone here feels that he is a, he's a guilty. We are all guilty. Okay. Do I have hope? Do I have hope? Is there a hope? Hmm? Sure there is. Sure there is. Through Jesus Christ. That's why 
we are not guilty in Jesus Christ. And this is what he said on the third chapter after a few verses uh, of verse number 12. He said, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed. Apart from the law. The law is not able, and we're going to see it on chapter 7. The law is not able to give us righteousness. How can we define the word righteousness? Hmm. The word righteousness. The word righteousness. Okay, one word. Hmm? Huh. Hmm? Faith? Um, not exactly. You want to take all the presents we have? Huh? Yeah. Hmm? One word. Or two words, actually. Huh? Hmm? Unsinful. It's right, yeah, okay. But I, I'm, I'm looking for another one. Huh. Pure. I'm looking for another one. Pure. Huh. Godly. I'm looking for another one. There. Perfect. Hmm. Holy. Uh, actually, the old is right, but I think which goes with 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 the, with the theme of the 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 epistle not guilty that's why we ask it guilty or not guilty the righteousness means that i'm i'm not guilty because all have sinned all have sinned and not no one is is pure or perfect or or can be uh, accepted by god except through jesus christ who can make us not guilty okay but now the righteousness of God, apart from the law, is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophet. The law has uh, prophecies about Jesus Christ who's going to fulfill our righteousness. But, but the law itself cannot, cannot the law, what is meant by law? What is meant by the law? Hmm? What the meaning of the law? Not the civil law. Not the American law or the Constitution and, and instructions from God, where we have find them. Huh? The Old Testament, prophecies and, and the, the, the commandments in the Old Testament. This is the law. So the, the, the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and prophets. I want you to take care of something. Here it is saying apart from the law. Because here he is trying to confront the, 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 the Judaizers who are saying no one can be Christian without being a Jew in, in, in firstly. So he said, apart from the law, because the, the Jews are saying no one can, can be Christian or can be saved without, without believing in the law. The law is, is number one. So, so St. Paul said no. The, the, the law is from God, and we're going to see that. The law is from God, but can, cannot save man. Who can save man? Who can save man? Jesus Christ only. Okay, this chapter from 1 to, uh, to 3. What is my relationship to Abraham? And why we are, ask, we are asking this question? Why now, in the chapter 4, St. Paul is going to talk about Abraham. Why he's going to talk about Abraham and what is my relationship to Abraham? Hmm. He talks about Abraham because he's like the father of the Jews. Like he's Very good. Very good. That's right. He's talking about... No? No, no. We got another one. It's, you should be fair. Do you have... Manel, you're having more? Huh? huh? Okay. <laughs> Bring us more, please. So... He is talking about Abraham because the Jews are saying we are the sons and daughters of, of Abraham. We are the children of Abraham. And they are always proud of that. They are boasting by that. So what, what, are, what is our relationship? The Jews are the, the, the offspring of, of, the, the, of Abraham. How about us? 
Are we the offspring of, of Abraham? Yes or no? Who says yes? Yes. I'll count the numbers. Huh? The yes plus the no should be the total number present in here. Huh? Okay. Who, who are saying yes, we are the, 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 the children of Abraham? Who are saying no? Who? I get very angry from the people who have no opinion. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm facing this problem here and in Egypt everywhere. We should be having an opinion. Whether right or wrong, this is not the issue. But we should be having, we should be positive and having an opinion. Who are saying yes, we are the sons of Abraham? Who are saying no? Okay. Actually, actually we are not the sons and daughters or the, the offspring or the children of Abraham by body or fleshly. We are not his offspring because we are the sons of Isaac and or Ishmael. Ishmael. But we are the, the children of Abraham because we believe in his face. We believe in Jesus Christ who, who Abraham was uh, waiting for, believing by faith in him even though Jesus Christ has came after him. But Jesus Christ himself said about Abraham that he, were, he was waiting for my day. And he has seen and he, he has been rejoiced. Okay? In, in uh, the Gospel of St. John chapter 8. So what is my relationship to Abraham? We are all the children of Abraham by faith, not by, by uh, normal offspring. We are not his normal offspring, but we are. So we are. The, 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 the children of Abraham by faith. We are following his faith. And that's, this is what uh, St. Paul has said. Someone, I want someone to read. Therefore it is of faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Romans 4.16. So we are, who are of the, not, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. The father of us all. So he is the father, he is the father of us all by faith, through faith. Another question. What has Christ done for me? What has Christ done for me? Hmm. From the last slide, um, we are all I Isaac because um, instead of us being killed by our father Abraham, we are replaced by the lamb who is the lamb of God. Uh, and so it's the Old Testament is like a symbolic this, this story is symbolic for Jesus Christ coming to save us. I totally agree with you. Here is the sacrifice of Isaac, huh? the new uh, icon. It's inside. Huh? Uh, you can see it from the, that side yeah, after, the, after the sermon. So this, that's true. Isaac and he was, was given as a symbol to, uh, to Jesus. Here is the icon. When I was discussing this, I was explaining this to the people, I think, last Wednesday. Because in the altar where, the, where, where Jesus is, is sacrificed, we can see this. As, as a prophecy on the sacrifice of Abraham who has given his son even though he didn't yani, uh, he didn't kill him but he, he was ready to do that it was a, a, a symbol of the, 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 the sacrifice of Christ who has been given from God the, the Father the God the Father sacrificed his, his uh, only begotten son
Icons are very important in the church, by the way. Hmm? Uh, so, what is, what has Christ done for us, for me? What has Christ done for me? Hmm. He, he could, instead of me, huh. okay, he, he carried my sins, yes. What else? And if someone knows about the, 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 the fifth chapter of Romans, Mirna, you don't know. Hmm. Yes, huh? What's your name? Michael. He gave me He gave me a church so I, so I could praise him. Very good. He has given me a church. Very nice. It's a nice prayer. But actually it's not stated in Romans, but that's, that's right. It's a nice it's a nice answer. You can have a present here. Actually uh, on the fifth chapter of Romans, there is a very important comparison between, between Adam and, and Jesus Christ. And he said that Jesus Christ is the second Adam. Adam is our father. I mean, the Jews were saying, we are the children of Abraham. And that Paul said, no, Abraham is the father of everyone who has faith in Jesus Christ. Then St. Paul was raising another issue. Adam is the father of every human being. Is someone deny this? No one. No one can deny this. He is saying what we have got from Adam, death, sin, corruption, this is what we have, we have we've got from Adam. But what we've got from Jesus Christ, the second Adam, he has made a nice comparison here. Adam has given, many has died through Adam. Through Jesus Christ, the grace of God and the gift by grace abounded to many. So the grace and the gift by the grace. Adam, we, have, we, we, we were condemned. Condemnation, we had condemnation. Condemnation which means guilty. We have been guilty through Adam. But through Jesus Christ, we are justified, not guilty. Through Adam, death reigned, as he's saying. Through Jesus Christ, those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life. We have, we are, we reign in life. Through Adam, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation. Through, through Jesus Christ, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. Justification of life and came to all men. Remember, why he is saying to all men, why he is saying to all men, hmm? I need someone else, you're right, huh? Hey. Because everyone can be, but through faith and baptism can be, that's right. So, not only the, the Jews. So the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. By obedience, many were made sinners. By, I'm sorry, by disobedience. By disobedience of Adam, the sin entered to the world, as we are saying on the, on the liturgy. By disobedience, many were made sinners. By obedience of Jesus Christ, many will be made righteous. Adam, his sin... Sin reigned in death through Adam. Through Jesus Christ, grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So he has made a very important comparison between the first Adam and the second Adam, Jesus, eh? Jesus Christ. This is chapter 5. So what does, has Christ done for me? He has saved me instead of sin, condemnation, and, and the, the disobedience of, of the first Adam. How can I re reunite myself to Christ? I mean, okay, Jesus Christ has came and he was incarnated and uh, he was crucified. What I have to do with that? What, what do I have to do with it? Hmm. You have to repent. You are right. What? You, you are, 
this is this is a, a totally right uh, answer but there is a step before repentance it and it has it, it has a close relation with repentance which is hmm. Have to walk to change. It's like repentance. It's it's a it's a point. We can give you a present to uh, Hillary. <laughs> but there is something else. There is something else. Uh, Fadi. Through baptism. Through baptism. Huh? Believe. Believe. Sure. And faith. Sure. But faith, faith, yes. But actually, faith, and he, on the chapter 6, he was talking about baptism. Baptism. How can I get united with, with Jesus Christ through baptism? Because during baptism, I am I'm on the water and come out as a son of God, as a new man, as a newborn, as a member of the body of Jesus Christ. And repentance, as uh, who said, what's your name, Daniela? As Daniela said, the re repentance is the, the, the second baptism, which, uh, which we are going through all our lives. You understand this? I'll say it again. Through baptism, we die with Christ and resurrect with him. Through repentance, we are practicing Death and resurrection every day and every moment of our life. Okay? So death and, and, and resurrection is something we are practicing daily. This is repentance. Repentance is not just leaving our sins or a certain sin or a specific sin. But repentance means our life or our direction is not going toward world and worldly stuff, but it's redirected to to Jesus Christ and to live as a as a believer or as a son of God. Sure, son of God adopted by God, not the the son. You know the difference between our sonship to God and and Jesus' sonship to the God the Father. We are adopted. But he is the son of, of God by, by nature. You understand this difference? We are the sons of God, but we are adopted to be. Jesus Christ is, uh, is the son of God by nature. It's the only begotten son since all ages, from the very beginning, from the very beginning, without, without uh, beginning. So how can I reunite myself to Christ? This is, this is a blessing of baptism. He is saying, I want someone to read who didn't say anything. Therefore we were burned with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans 6, 4. So through baptism, we are having the newness of life. We have a new life in Jesus Christ. We need that now. We need that every time. Because we should, our, our life should be new. I, I, I should say now, is my life uh, justified? Is it, is it, it, it pleases God or not? If not, I should redirect it, which is repentance, which is the practice of baptism, which is the second baptism. We should do it now and every day of our life. Now and every day of our life. This is what we, that's why we are, we are, we are coming to liturgy. Liturgy is not this is the, 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 the day of the Lord, and this is uh, the vacation day, and we come just to, we, should, we are gathering with our uh, friends. No. We are practicing the, 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 the repentance. We are practicing living with, the, with God in the newness of life. Okay.
is the law good and sufficient? Is the law good and sufficient? There should not must be a big present for for whoever answers this question. We'll start. We'll give the priority for the younger, and then we'll go back. Huh. Is the law good and sufficient? Um, I think it's good because, like, you need like the limit, so you wouldn't just go and do anything. Very good. And is it sufficient? <laughs> you don't know, but you are, you are right. You should be taking another one, actually. Huh? We'll give you another one. No problem. Huh? Sufficient for what? Okay. <laughs> Actually, we, we, uh, we, we have put it that way intentionally. Is there an answer before, before uh, this, uh, answering your question? Um, I think that it's good, but it's not sufficient because like, the law of man is different than the law of God, so they don't address... Oh, he's talking about... Good and sufficient. Mm. <laughs> ah, well, I think it is because if you follow it, then you become like a happy person. Kind of. Like most of it. <laughs> is there someone? Jesus? Jesus only? Yeah. But any, any of us has done that? No. So is it sufficient to take us to the heaven? No. No. So it's not sufficient. Not because there is something wrong with him. Hmm? You are right. Very good. Very good. I'm glad with the discussion. Hi, Joe. Uh, very good. Hey, Joe. The law is good for guidance to help one like through life, but it can't save you. It, it does deny you from sin. So, actually, Joseph, it also in a very good way. The law is is a good guidance. He is telling us to to act, but but how to act? But he, it cannot save us. It cannot give us salvation because no one is able to do the law hundred percent. And if I committed only one sin, what should I? Where should I go? I should go to hell. I I cannot be saved. Okay. But so, who can solve our problem? I'll, 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 I'll try to clarify to you now. Abuna, I think the law is in between because it, the good part, it, it tries to keep us on track. But the sufficient part is that that's the one that we're creating because we try to go by the law, but we sometimes fail. Okay, so what, how, how that? Try to talk to someone that you trust, like, or one of the Okay, but the, I have sinned, okay? You, you said no one is able to do it all the time and, and 100%. So if I committed one sin, I should die. No hope. The only hope is in whom? In Jesus Christ. So the law cannot save, as, as Joseph, Joseph has put it in a good, very good way, cannot save us, but he is a good guidance. He's from God, Okay? I'll, 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 I'll try to, to explain it that way. What has happened after the, the sin of, of Adam? What are the re results of the hmm? death. death? Number one. Number two? Original sin or original sin or corruption. Okay? So our nature has corrupted. Two results. What the law has come to say, O oh man, don't do that, because if you did that, you're going to die. Okay? So, death, corruption. The law said, 
don't do that to be pure. And if you, if you did the, the, that, you're going to die. What the law has said, is right or wrong? What the law has said, is right or wrong? Is right. But am I able to do it? Is there a man was perfect, didn't do even a single sin? No, Jesus only. That's why we needed Jesus to come to, do the, to, to solve our two problems. The death, he died instead of us. Okay? He redeemed us. And he has taken our nature to, through, and by this nature, who was holy, who was doing everything perfect. That's why when he has gone to get baptized from St. John, the, Saint John the, the Baptist, he said, I sh we should do everything perfect. We should do everything perfect. So, the, who, 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 our sufficiency, or the sufficiency, come from whom? Not from law, from, from Jesus. So the law is from God, but is not sufficient for our salvation. This is your question. So it's not sufficient for our salvation. Very, very nice uh, verses uh, St. Paul is saying here. The law is good. He said, therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy and just and good. Romans 7, 12. But I'm guilty by the law, because I'm, I'm, I'm a sinful. As we said, I'm outside of Christ, apart from Christ, I'm, I'm sinful. So I'm guilty by the law. So the, the, the law is not sufficient for my salvation. I'll, I'll, I want someone to read these nice verses. Hmm. I don't know someone didn't read. Yeah. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For what am I doing? I do not understand. For what I will to do that I do not practice, but what I hate that I do. If then I do what I stop. No, I, why I stopped? Because I think this this tells our problem. Aren't we feeling that? Hmm? Aren't we feeling that that uh, what I will to do that I do not practice, and act more than that, but I, what I hate that I do. I'm not doing what I want. Is it, isn't that our feeling? Many times we are feeling that we are not doing what we want to do. Why? Because, because we are having a, a corrupted nature. So what, what we can do, we, we need to get re reunited through repentance with God to, a, to a be able to, a, to, to live the, 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 the good way. To live the good way. And our sins, its price has been, a, has been paid by, by Jesus in, in the cross. Okay, can we finish just this passage? So then, he's, if then, I do what I will not to do. I agree with the law that it is good. The law is good. And I want to do its commandment, but I'm not able. But now, it is no longer... I, I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. This is the old nature I have inherited from, from Adam. For I know, I, I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For it will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. I want to do good things, but I don't find, I'm not able. I do not, I do not uh, for the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil, I will, not, uh, I will not do that I practice. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I, I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. I think, are we feeling this, this, these problems or not? You understand? You are following or not? Hmm? And then he's here saying a, a, a tough conclusion. 
a painful con conclusion. O oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? This is the cry of the humanity, of the sinful humanity. This, all this, this is the case of humanity apart from Christ. But in Christ, something dif different we'll, we'll see on chapter 8. Chapter 8, by, by the way, the key chapter of the Romans is chapter 8. Yani, I mean, we, we had a problem while doing the presentation to how many verses we need to extract from it. It's very, the, the most important chapter in the, the Romans uh, epistle. But uh, you, you sinless, but Uh, actually, we are not saying that that Saint Mary is sinless. We, ha we we are not saying that. We are not saying that because she said, "My uh, my uh, Savior." So so he, she, she needs salvation. She needs salvation. We are not saying that that Saint Mary is not is 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 sinless. We are not saying that. But we are saying it the, as we are saying on the on the praises. Uh, that God the Father has looked from the heaven and he didn't find someone like St. Mary. But th that doesn't mean she is sinless. If she, she was sinless, she, would, she wouldn't say, my Savior. Hmm? She needs salvation, sure. She, she wouldn't need salvation. Okay, so this is the case of the, or the status of the, the, the man apart from God. But in Christ, what do I get in Christ? We'll see. Not guilty. Under two conditions. Being in Christ. Set number two. Walking according to the Spirit. Two important conditions. St. Paul is putting in chapter 8 of the, the epistle of Romans. To say that uh, we, we have to be not guilty. How to be not guilty. Being in Christ and walking according to the Spirit. As I said, we, we had a problem of so many verses we needed to, to uh, quote from, from the chapter 8 of the Romans. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are. How no condemnation means? No condemnation means not guilty. No condemnation means not guilty. We can give you to Sony, Nadia. <laughs> We should be fair. <laughs> uh, no, not guilty. There, there is therefore now no condemnation. Not guilty to those who are. Number one, in Christ Jesus. Number two, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. This is the behavior. We are not from the flesh. Maybe someone say, no, I'm, I'm having flesh and, and I'm having a body. Yes, but I'm living by, a, by the Spirit. Or I'm walking by the Spirit, or according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. So I should, I should choose who I am. Who am I? Who I want to be? Who, whom I want to be? This is, this is a decision I should make. Another, uh, another verse, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells on you. I'm having a flesh, but I'm not in the flesh, because I'm, I'm led by the spirit, by the, the Holy Spirit, which dwells on, on me, which I have been given according or after the salvation that God has done on the cross and resurrection and ascension. That's why we have been given, the church has been given the Holy Spirit after crucifixion and resurrection and ascension. Then we, we would have the, the, the Holy Spirit. And by the Holy Spirit, we are not in the flesh. Actually, this is very important to, to, to know our faith. I mean, the Romans is one of the most important 
uh, books of the Bible. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. He is not of Christ. How I, am I re reunited with Christ? By the Holy Spirit. Okay? By the Holy Spirit. Uh, there is a, a verse in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. He's saying, we are all baptized to a, a one body by the Holy Spirit, the body of, of Christ, the body of Christ. For as many as, as are led by the Spirit of God, these are, the son, these are sons of God. For as many as, as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So we are the sons of God if you are led by the, the, the Spirit of God. Another verse, important one, likewise the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses. We are weak, but the, the, we are supported by the Holy Spirit. For we do not know what we should pray for, for as, we ought, as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes, uh, makes intercession for us with, with groanings which cannot be uttered. So how we are helped to pray through the Holy Spirit, we should we should uh, stand up and ask God, we need to pray. Maybe we, we don't have so many words to say. We are feeling that praying is, is tough or, or, or something which is difficult for us. But we should ask for, from the Holy Spirit. From the Holy Spirit can give us groanings, as it's said here. And the last thing, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love, who love God. I think... This is a verse which we are, we are all memorizing. And this is, I, I think this one goes with what Abuna was saying in the, in the beginning. Everything is, is, would turn to good for us. And this is our turn. I would like to add something about the, 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 the painful accident which happened yesterday and Abuna was discussing. Actually, we, we, we I think, we, we should not, ask and blame God why, why he permitted this to happen. Evil things are in the earth. It's, it's from its nature. We, we are not in heaven. We are waiting for heaven. But what we can do now is to, to support the needy, the, the, the depressed people, the, 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 the people who need... The needy people are not needing money only. Many people are needing... Many, people are, might need... A, a, a smile might need a good word might need some support might need some love if we love each other we make the earth better and this is this is this is the opportunity you are having saint augustine is saying a very nice saying he said in the heaven there is no mercy because no one is is, is hungry to feed no one is thirsty thirsty to to uh, to to uh, give him water, yeah. Huh? No one is 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 uh, is naked to give him something to to wear. No, but but it, it the, the opportunity is here, and Saint John Chrysostom is saying another say, say a nice saying. He's saying uh, the 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 poor are the wealth of the rich. The poor are the wealth of the rich. So if someone is needing something and he is, he's our wealth, we can give him that and it's gonna be, uh, we are gonna be rewarded, a heavenly reward. Chapter nine to 11, it is 16th chapter, we are, gonna, we are gonna stop by the 11th because from 12 to 16, it's just practical uh, exhortations and instructions Paul is given, so we, we don't need to go through. Chapter 9 to 11. Is God willing to accept everyone? Is God willing to accept everyone? Is anyone saying no? He is willing to accept everyone. He's, uh, on chapter 10, he, for, there, for there is this, no distinction between Jew and Greek. This is the theme of, a, of Romans. 
There is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, I would like to comment on chapter 9, because surely Fadi is going to ask me about chapter 9. There is a problem with chapter 9. It looks like uh, God is saying, I can give mercy to whoever and I have compassion to whomever, uh, like he he's doing that without fairness. But he what in 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 chapter nine of the of the the epistle of Roman of Romans, it is he's he's talking to the Jews. The Jews are saying, no, God, you cannot accept the Gentile without being Jews first. So God said to them. No, I am having the, the, whole, the whole freedom to accept anyone without being uh, judged from you. Without being judged from you. Because I'm having the right. When I accepted you, Jews, I, I accepted you because you, you, you have something to give to me or you have any privileges. I have done that from my compassion. And now I'm having the right to accept the Gentiles without being judged from you. This is the main uh, idea of, the, of, the, of the, the chapter 9, because it's a tricky chapter. Someone understand it as, okay, God is choosing someone to pick to heaven, and other, he's refusing other without fair, fair, fairness. But this is not true. He is dealing with a general problem, not the problem of individuals. He's dealing of accepting the Gentiles uh, w w without the, the, the idea of the Judaizers which saying, no, they should be Jews first. Okay? Okay or not? I, I know it's, it's a bit uh, difficult yeah, at this point. Yeah. And the last thing, this is, this is uh, the, the big oval. We can call it this is the, the, the will of God to accept everyone. So all are called. So this is, this oval is the, 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 the domain of God who is willing to accept everyone. It is said on, on the first Timothy that Jesus is uh, his desire to accept all and to, to uh, all will, will know him and will know the truth. So all are called. If they live by faith and, and do good deeds, they will steadfast, will be steadfast in their choice or in their election. And this is what has been said in, in 2 Peter. Therefore, brethren, brethren, be even from more diligent to make your call and election sure. So if I live by faith and doing good deeds, I'll be steadfast, or my, my call and my election will be sure. For it, it, if you do these things, you will never stumble. But if I'm called and God willing is willing, is calling everybody and want everybody to be with him. But if I disbelieved him. So I made make, or I live a wicked life and, and, and I do wicked deeds, then I will fall from the election or from the choice. What, this is also St. Peter has said, you therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you also fall for, from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked. Okay, so God is willing to have everyone. He is calling everyone, but not everyone is accepting. So it's me by myself or the individual by themselves who doesn't want to go with God through faith and good deeds. Uh, chapter from 12 to 16, as I said, it's application of Christian life. This is considered the second part of Romans, practical instruction from St. Paul to the Romans. So as a conclusion, I am. Sinful, but justified through Jesus Christ. I am the son of Abraham by faith. I am the son of the second Adam, 
by grace through repentance. I'm condemned by law, justified in Christ, walking in spirit. I am elected by faith, working through love. Questions? I'm sorry, it's too long today, but... Uh, Michael. Um, I want to know, like, why, like, the Son, which is Jesus, had to go down to sacrifice himself and not, like, God, which is the Father, because it says that they're all, like, three in one, and they're all, like, equal. So I want to know, like, why didn't the God, like, which is the Father come down, which would be a good, like, lesson for us, would be, like, the um, Father sacrificing himself for his son. A good question. <laughs> uh, we are seeing always that God the Father is the origin from him, Jesus, uh, uh, the, the Son, is, is uh, begotten, and from him uh, proceeded the, the, the Holy Spirit. So that's why God the Father has sent his word. The, the Son was called to the word. So he's sending, I'm se like I'm sending you my word, okay? He sends his word, but as incarnated, to the to the to the to the to the earth and and to to be crucified to 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 uh, accomplish or to fulfill our salvation so the 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 three the three persons of of the the trinity are are ha, has has shared on on the uh, on the salvation it's not only the son so the son is sent to to do that from God, from God the Father, and then the Holy Spirit also. Uh, uh, there is an important uh, verse in uh, in uh, Saint Luke, the the Gospel of Saint Luke. Uh, I need a Bible. Hmm? القدس يحل عليك. This is what he has been said. That the Arab is in English. Huh? The, on the annunciation of Gabriel, the 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 archangel, he he said to to uh, Saint Mary that the 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 Holy Spirit is gonna come upon you. Thank you. Thank you. Abuna, uh, can I uh, say a, uh, okay. a point? Yeah. Okay, Abuna. God the Father has created us by the Son. The Son is the creator. All things has made by him. So he is the creator. So when, when our nature was corrupted, the, the original creator saw that he will come to re renew this creation by himself to take our nature and renew it so he is the creator and the reformer he is the creator and he is the renewer so this is the son because the father as it is it is written in the gospel of saint john chapter 1 he 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 created all the creation by his logos, by his mind, by his word, by his son. So the son is the creator, and he came again to renew our nature and to redeem us. So he is the one who is crucified and incarnated, not, not the father. But as Abuna is saying that the father and the Holy Spirit are sharing yeah. In, in the process of salvation. Uh, the salvation is not the, 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 the job of, of the, the, the Son only, but the, the three persons of the Trinity has shared. And here is the, the, the verse I was talking about. And the angel answered and said to her, 
the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest, the highest is the Father, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. So we can see the, the God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay? Hmm. Good question, Michael. Myrna. When we were talking about repentance, don't we, when we take communion, don't we repent? Very nice question. I'm, I'm glad with your question. Let me put it that way. By baptism, by baptism, we are implanted in God's, on, on Jesus' body, the body of Christ, on Christ's body. And through the, the, the Holy Communion, we are practicing, like, I'll give you an example. When you ha are having a, a membership in a club, okay, they're giving you a card. This card has your, your photo, and, and it's stamped that you are allowed to come any time because you are a member. So this is baptism. But I'm, I'm, I may be having the, the card in, in my pocket, but I'm not going. The, the, but practicing communion is, is being uh, steadfast in Christ, and he is st steadfast in me. Okay? So through communion, we are practicing the, the repentance and, and, and living in God. But, but the important thing, it's not just something we took uh, uh, on our mouth and that's it. Okay? But it, we should live as, as God's member, as Christ's member, our, or the member of his body. Okay? So it's, it, the, the answer is, uh, co communion is practicing my new life. Okay? Practicing the, the, the gift given to me from Jesus Christ. So he can be in me, I'm, I, and I'm in him. Okay? Hmm. Very nice question. I'm glad with the question you're asking. Fadi, do you have a question? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad with your comments, really. Uh -huh. Huh? This isn't... This is, I don't know, um, any, uh, the, the whole, uh, the whole uh, passage that you referred to early on, the, the things that I want to do, I don't. Yeah, the chapter that seven. I need to do any of that, um, I mean, that, that is the whole, you know, plight, that is the whole kind of path of mankind. And, yeah. Um, and apart from Christ. Apart from Christ, of course, yeah. And, and Yanni, um, I mean, we, we find, or I find, that Yanni, I'm, I'm there more than I'm, I'm kind of justified. Yeah. I, I think that one can get, get accustomed to um, kind of falling than be accustomed to, you know, standing up. And and walking in grace, and um, and, and you, you know, like in the world, you know, we, we say that there 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 is like this fear of success because with success means that you you need to um, you need to keep moving, you need to be disciplined, you need to kind of watch out, and you 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 know you you work hard to be successful, but it's even more harder to stay successful. You, you see what okay. I'm saying? So uh, th there's there's that same kind of element. This is actually our fight or, or the al-jihad, al-jihad struggle. This is our struggle. We are struggling to be in Christ, not just to fight the sin by ourselves. To be in Christ, so we will be given the success. And there is a very uh, another golden uh, rule. We are the the fathers. The the, the fathers are saying. You, you, the, the success is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to struggle. to struggle. To struggle to be in Christ. And then he will give you success in the time he sees. But you should struggle. And you should be struggling till the last breath I'm, I'm having. And if God come, 
he will see, see he will find me struggling the success is it's it's up to him he he can give me the success in warfare okay so my struggle is to to uh, cling to to jesus hmm. that's enough for you i think or it says michelle Through my struggle, you know, I fell down and then I go confess and then I, I get communion and so on and so on and so on. That's the practice, as we said, of my membership in Christ. I'm, I'm renewing that every time I, I come. I'm, I'm, I come to have communion because I need to have a, a newer power, a new power to, to struggle. Yes. We are striving. We should be striving, but not by ourselves. Yeah, but but we are doing. Uh, we we are we are trying to struggle. In Christ, will be perfect, and our uh, bad things will be uh, covered. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? We believe uh, the Christian, all the Christian, and you're not thinking about the. Uh, original sin from Adam's, yes, and it moved to us, to all the men, how can teach the other people this point? Okay. Uh, you're having here the, uh, uh, the Congress, okay? The Parliament. The Parliament is, is dealing with uh, producing laws. If the parliament is dissolved, as is happening in Egypt, huh? the laws that was uh, produced by this dissolved parliament should not exist. That's right? You understand this point or not? When Adam has committed sin, he didn't have uh, offspring. So when God said to him, you're going to die. They didn't have offspring. So God has given him some time, a space of time, to have offspring, but they, 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 are, they shouldn't be there. So, but he has, give, he has done that, God has done that, to give him a, 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 an opportunity to have the Redeemer, Jesus Christ. So that's why the, the people doesn't have the right to live doesn't have that's that's I, I think that's how we can understand the original sin the the offspring of 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 adam hadn't the right to be there because they weren't there when 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 adam has committed sin okay hmm. glory be to god forever amen we have more questions, but I think we have to, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, for the DOC, after we, we pray, let's go to the crying room. Tancherin want to talk to uh, us about the New Year Eve uh, planning. So all of us, the, the, all the DOCs, it's going to be like a few minutes, just a few minutes right after, okay? In the crying room right there. Okay, don't forget, t uh, tomorrow will be the third pray overnight praise uh, for the month of Kiak. We start the Vesper prayers at 7 and the midnight praises from 8 to 3.30 and then the, the first liturgy from 3.30 3 to uh, 6 and the second liturgy from 9. We, we have a vacation, we have a a holiday season now, so we we have time to come and to praise and to practice this uh, beautiful uh, praises of the church. Um, and we will have after ten days the the New Year celebration. Uh, we will start Monday, 31, 31st uh, of December. We will start the the celebrations with the with the Sunday school activities at 7 p.m. and then we will start here in the church. This is will be downstairs, 
we will start in the church uh, upstairs uh, from a from 10 to 12 and then 12:30 we will start the liturgy to 3 so we can start the new year with the lord put everything between his hands to bless the crown of the year with his goodness okay stand for prayer Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, o Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice oh, oh, of praise. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Our good Lord, Jesus Christ, we thank you so much for these living words that enlighten the minds and the hearts. Thank you for granting us the way of salvation through repentance, baptism, and abiding in you through the communion. Thank you for, for you are the fountain of peace and tranquility and the king of peace and all goodness. We surrender ourselves to you. Please, O oh Lord, guide us, dwell in us, purify our hearts and our minds. Help us to walk in your way through repentance. Help us to feed continuously with, with your words. Thank you for the edifying words of tonight. Please reward Abuna who spoke with us with the word of life. And help us to go through the way that you opened for us and through the access that you made for us to heaven through faith and repentance we trust that we will be saved O oh Lord remember all those who have asked us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, O Lord. Please comfort who are mourning, heal who are wounded with sin or the troubles of the world. Pour your peace on your church. Give us to be one heart and one spirit loving each other and serving each other. Through the intercessions of our mother, Saint Mary, and all the angels and saints, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine the kingdom, the power, the glory. The love of God the Father and the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the fellowship, gift, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace and peace of the